When you see the word forest, what comes to your mind? Fresh air, clear water, or beautiful animals? Have you ever thought about making money from trees? Perhaps it's not a mere coincidence that the Chinese character for the word money is similar to the Korean character for the word forest. We'll now take a look at forests from an economical standpoint. This way, we might find forests more relevant to our lives than we had ever imagined. An auction is in progress in Germany. Ein Telefonbieter der 5000. 51. The attendees are placing large bids. 6100 am Telefon zum ersten. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. The bids range from a few thousand dollars to several million dollars. It's surprising because these people are bidding on plots of forest land. This auction in Germany is quite popular and attracts millions of bidders every year. Of course, everyone at the auction is keen on making money. Die es sind eine sehr gute Welt, äh, Geldanlage. In den letzten Jahren ist der äh, die Nachfrage dramatisch gestiegen. Ja, es liegt natürlich auch daran, dass das Geld in der Welt im Augenblick sehr billig ist, dass man sich natürlich nach anderen Geldanlagen äh, erkundigt. Aber gerade die Waldflächen sind eine unserer besten Auktionsobjekte. How can one go about making money from a forest, though? Markus Kraus has been investing in Forstland for the last nine years. He makes money by remodeling the plots he buys. Just like how people flip homes for financial gain, Mr. Kraus plants trees on his plots to later sell the forest land at a profit. Mein Ziel ist es natürlich, die Wälder möglichst günstig zu, zu kaufen. Deswegen halte ich Ausschau nach Wäldern, nicht, die nicht besonders gepflegt sind. Wenn ich dann diese Wälder günstig gekauft habe, durchforste ich die mit Hilfe des Försters. Und wenn Sie hier diesen Wald sehen, der ist jetzt inzwischen zweimal durchforstet worden, der sieht jetzt super aus, super gesund. Wenn ich den jetzt wieder verkaufen würde, würde ich wahrscheinlich das Doppelte von meinem Kaufpreis bekommen. He initially invested $370,000 to purchase this forest. Nine years later, his investment is worth nearly a million. He more than doubled his investment. He's not worried if his forest doesn't sell quickly either, because in the meantime, he sells trees for lumber. He makes about $25,000 a year from it. The value of his forest increases as the saplings grow into tall trees. Thus, a forest is an attractive long-term investment. In addition, a forest is a stable investment. Due to the volatility in financial markets, the price of other commodities fluctuate but a forest is hardly impacted by markets. Therefore, it's a relatively safe investment where you can protect your assets. Natürlich kaufe ich Wald, um Geld zu verdienen. Keine Frage, das kostet viel Geld. Aber eben nicht nur. Wald ist ein emotionales Investment. Wenn ich in diesen Wald hier fahre und sehe mir das an, dann bekomme ich Gänsehaut. Ich fühle mich hier so wohl und ich möchte das auch an meine Kinder weitergeben. Dieser Wald wird irgendwann meinen Kindern gehören. Und das ist die schönste Art von Investment. Investing in forest land has taken on many forms. There's even a forest financing service. This bank has individual investors from around the world and invest their money into planting trees and managing forests. Also sehr viel im Non-Profit-Bereich. 
für die größte deutsche Naturschutzorganisation und so weiter und bin dann in den 90er Jahren zu der Erkenntnis gekommen, dass Non-Profit-Arbeit wichtig ist, aber eine wirkliche Lösung muss darin liegen, ein anderes wirtschaftliches System zu finden und mit Natur und Ökologie eben auch ökonomisch zu arbeiten, auch erfolgreich zu arbeiten. Forest Finance spends investors' money to plant trees in tropical nations that have rainforests. Most of the trees are planted are fruit-bearing trees that produce mango or cacao. Coffee plants are planted as well. Any profits from the groves are returned to the investors. So this investment protects the environment while also producing profits. Many investors are putting their money into forest finance because of its eco-friendly mission that also produces returns. Investors receive a high 7% return on their investment, which is higher than bank interest. In the long term, a forced land investment produces higher returns to investors. When an investor puts their money in forced finance, they receive a certificate. They're also informed where in the world the tree will be planted with their money. So investors can see the progress of growing trees too. Beide Dinge werden in positiver Weise miteinander verknüpft und das ist dann auch das, der moderne Ausdruck für das Win-Win. Nur in diesem Fall würde ich sogar sagen, es ist eine Win-Win-Win-Situation, nämlich der Investor partizipiert, das Unternehmen partizipiert, aber eben auch die Natur. Es sind also drei Bestandteile, die dort gewinnen. Money moves the world. People are motivated by a profit incentive, but become hesitant about risky investments that can incur losses. Perhaps a forest should be seen as a profitable business. When you are connected to a forest by a financial investment, the forest is repositioned as an investment vehicle, which is then becomes an important asset to you. It's a new way to look at the value of a forest. Kamikatsu is situated in Japan. With its clear water and fresh air, it's a typical Japanese village in the countryside. Eighty-year-old Mrs. Nishikake lives here. Every morning she hikes up the village hill. Her job is to handpick unblemished maple tree leaves. She works fast to fill all her orders that came in the day before. These maple leaves are washed and packaged to be ready for delivery. Because the work is easy, many senior citizens do this line of work. It might look like a small operation, but Mrs. Nishikake made $50,000 in profits last year alone. Daily, she tries to outbid her competition to land a contract. Once again, she's received another order for maple leaves. <laughs> <laughs> How is it possible to make money by selling tree leaves? It's due to Japan's dining culture. There is a Japanese saying that goes, you taste with your eyes and eat with your mouth. The presentation of food is very important in Japan. There is a demand from restaurants for seasonal flowers and leaves. 
Targeting a new niche market, the villagers began selling leaves. Since the work is not hard and people can work at any hour they please, it became an ideal job for senior citizens. The average age of the co-op members is 70. These villagers handle orders and pack them for delivery. With better knowledge of logistics, they now supply 80% of leaves in Japan's tree leaf market. As Japan is dealing with an aging population, these elderly villagers take pride that they have solved the matter by themselves. In the past, the village used to sell mandarins. But 30 years ago, a cold spell hit the area. The frost damaged the entire mandarin crop and the villagers were in a desperate situation. Most of the young people left the village too. The remaining villagers were mostly elderly people. An idea to take advantage of the nearby forest brought a huge chance to the village. <laughs> それはやっぱり仕事もないし、所得も少ないし、やっぱり住んでいる誇りをみんな失ってたわけです。それがこういうビジネスができてくることによって、あ、うちのところでもこれだけ稼げるよとか、こういう生活ができるよとか、あいう
their community also began to deteriorate. To solve the tribe's problem, the king of Thailand took action. Under the royal project led by Thai royalty, the poppy fields were destroyed and trees were planted. บริเวณนี้นะครับไม่เป็นป่าหัวล้นไม่มีต้นไม้ครับแล้วก็ชาวบ้านอ่าญาติชนthe tribe found a new way of life. Macadamia nuts are tasty and are a cash crop to the locals. The stable income from macadamia nut farms has improved their lives. Once their standard of living started to rise, the Akka were able to obtain Thai citizenship and were no longer a people with no country. Coffee plants and macadamia nut farms have provided jobs to the Aka tribe. They used to be passive workers, but now they have learned new farming techniques to become self-reliant farmers. This enterprise really came out of uh, survivability. They had no other choice. They wanted to move away from opium. And when they realized what coffee could do for their families and for their community, they are extremely motivated. Their lives have changed radically. By participating in the free market economy, they've become hopeful for the future. Although I have not been born as royalty, my child will be able to live like royalty. This is the theme of the royal project. And those words have become a reality to the Akka tribe. It was the local forest that brought hope to the Akka. At one Buddhist temple in Cambodia, the monks commit themselves to Sir King Nirvana while warding off earthly desires. But the head monk at this temple is known for having a different special skill. His money-making skill. The monk earns money by growing trees. He tends to his trees in a peculiar way though. He doesn't tend the forest using any machinery. He just wraps tree trunks with a rope. That's all there is to it. How is it possible to sell carbon credits? And who would buy carbon credits from these monks? Microsoft a U.S. company purchased $1.7 million worth of carbon credits from the temple in 2012. And the company continues to increase its carbon credit purchases every year. Microsoft. Microsoft. 
In the past, Oda Menche was a dense force. About 10 years ago, illegal logging became rampant, and much of the area was converted to farmland. Cambodia's forests were disappearing at an alarming rate. So the monk came up with an idea to persuade the people to care for their forest once again. He preached that the trees are Buddha, and cutting them is like committing a sin. The monk and locals worked together to protect the trees. Six years have passed since his work began, and the forest is making a rapid comeback. Wanting to return a forest to its original state should be a natural human response. But why did Microsoft decide to spend $1.7 million to save a remote forest when there's little incentive to do so? How was this transaction made possible? Last October, Typhoon Chaba hit the Korean peninsula. The extensive damage was like a scene from a Hollywood movie. Lethal waves hit the streets. This unprecedented typhoon came about due to climate change. Koreans were indifferent to climate change until it started to directly impact the country. Today, climate change is an issue that all countries need to address. At the Rio Olympics opening ceremony, there was a performance that sent a message that everyone could understand. A video appealed to viewers worldwide to protect trees because they're vital for securing a bright future for mankind. The world is reaching critical levels. Greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide are raising global temperatures. There have been severe droughts around the world. If the pace of pollution continues unabated, humankind will face an unexistential threat. World leaders gathered at Kyoto, Japan to agree on reducing global emissions and ratify the Kyoto Protocol.東京 Carbon transactions begin with the measuring the reduction of carbon emissions. When a company fails to reach its carbon reduction target, it can purchase carbon credits from a second party that has a surplus in carbon credits. This allows the company to meet its target. There's another system in place to reach carbon reduction targets. 
This entails planting new trees so that they will absorb carbon emissions. This also allows companies to trade the carbon credits they get from the trees. The carbon credit transaction in Cambodia is the selling of surplus carbon credits. ぐるぐるっとこう回っていく仕組みができたわけです。まあ、それも間違いなくイノベーションですね。ですから、まあ、炭素減らすという世界共通の難しい課題を解決するための。ものすごくイノベーティブな道具。として発見されたと。A tree has two sides to it. It can absorb carbon emissions in the air. But it can also release carbon dioxide if it's cut down for firewood. When a tree is cut down, it can no longer absorb carbon emissions. After a tree is turned into a log, it can be burned as a fuel, which will release carbon dioxide. Hence, preserving trees is the most effective way for combating global warming. In the real world, though, preserving trees is not a simple matter. A large swath of the world population cannot make a living without inflicting harm to forest lands. Many Asian nations have converted forest land into farmland. Agriculture brings a stable way of living compared to hunting and gathering in a forest. Vu An is a farmer who lives in Oda Menche, Cambodia. Ten years ago, he slashed and burned trees to build his farm. Uh, most of Cambodia's population cannot cook without trees. 90% of people use wood and coal to cook. Because they depend on trees as their main source of energy, they can't imagine living without trees. They even need logs for raising livestock. This livestock farmer burns one log every day for his cattle. The smoke from the firewood keeps the mosquitoes at bay. This is another factor contributing to deforestation. The 1.7 million dollars that Microsoft paid to Cambodia's Oda Menchi region is fair compensation for the temple's preservation efforts. Money is a vital component in laying a foundation to protecting forests. And the money was used to make the forest greener. A tree nursery was made to grow saplings, which were then planted, and mosquito spray was used instead of burning wood to ward off mosquitoes. These steps have made it possible to continue living without damaging the forest. Normally, these local people, they just simply cut their trees and they use 
sell, use the products or sell the products in the market. That is how they get the income. But now, through this kind of initiative, they are getting the, the another option. And then they, they protect the forest, sell the carbon, and then now they know how to earn another income. That is also changing their mindset into protection of their own forest. Efforts to preserve forest land is taking place in many countries. At this seminar, the discussion is made to offer economic aid and other joint cooperations to reduce the destruction of forests. Their main topic is to cooperate in fighting catastrophic forest fires. The locals have organized their own firefighting volunteer group and getting hands-on training. As a result of this training exercise, the organization realized how important it was to offer financial support and jointly cooperate to get people involved in this vital mission. This uh, training course sponsored by the AFOCO is that this is the good way that to challenge experience and to learn from the uh, real practice of the people. Uh, only is not enough to stop the, when the forest fires occur. But you need a cooperation and collaboration from the local people and the local administration. It need, it really need a truly collaboration. Trees are made from carbon, and carbon credits have monetary value. The locals have traded in carbon credits for the last five years. During that time, there have been many changes. The force has grown back, and the nation's future has become brighter. It is not only beneficial to Cambodia's future, but to ours as well. With a population of 400,000, the city of Talat is in one of the top major cities in Vietnam. Because its elevation is at 1,500 meters, the climate is mild all year round and attracts many vacationers. But not too long ago, the city was beset with a problem. The city suffered frequent blackouts. This led to complaints from the residents. What was causing the power outages? It was occurring due to problems at the hydro power plant. In recent years, the water level at the reservoir has dropped dramatically. This made it difficult to produce enough electricity. Đối với sản lượng thiết kế chúng tôi là gần 1 tỷ 2 kWh. Nhưng mà năm 2015 thì chúng tôi chỉ phát được có là 740 triệu kWh thôi. The water shortage has caused other problems besides power outages. Supplying drinking water to the city residents has also become harder. The water in the reservoir has become contaminated due to low water levels. And filtering this water takes more money and time as a result. Heavier use of chemicals to treat the water poses a health risk to the residents. Tức là cái ở đây thì hồ cái mực nước mà khai thác ở đây là 8 m nước khai thác. Nhưng có thời điểm họ xuống còn có được có 3 m nước khai thác. Thì rõ ràng khi mà cái lượng nước mà nó còn 3 m nước khai thác á thì rõ ràng cái lượng mà bùn đó, bùn nắng nó sẽ vô rất là rất là khủng khiếp vô trong cái rất là nhiều vô trong cái what is causing the water shortage in the reservoir? To find the source of the problem, government investigators are studying the area. During their investigation, they found that villages in the upper regions of the river cut many trees to make way for farmland. Trees retain water during rainfall and filter the water naturally, but deforestation has removed this natural process. The Vietnamese government demanded the residents to use less wood, but nothing changed. So the government came up with a new idea to improve the water supply.
Và cái tiền này nó đem lại cho người dân à, một việc nữa là um, đánh vào cái nhận thức là à, là cho người dân là người ta không đi phá rừng, tự người ta thiếu ăn thì người ta đi phá rừng để làm rẫy. Nhưng người ta có tiền, có gạo ăn thì người ta giảm đi cái việc không phải đi phá rừng. This service provides money to residents in exchange for their effort in preserving the forests. If the villagers living in the upper regions manage their part of the forest land appropriately, the hydropower plant will be able to produce more electricity. All the while, the water treatment facilities will also benefit, providing a better utility service to people. Vietnam established a fund to oversee this payment service. Villagers now receive fair compensation for their work in protecting the forests. Protects its forest which generates water for the area nearby for agriculture, which generates carbon storage, yeah? which generates better biodiversity for people to see and enjoy. This good action of protecting the forest is not rewarded. There is no payment for all these ecosystem services. So to generate very important public goods, to encourage that, you need to pay for these ecosystem services. So the farmer or the forester or the landowner who is holding and preserving the forest for the benefit of public has to be paid. That is payment for ecosystem services. The lives of the locals have changed. In the past, the villagers raised the forest to convert it into farmland to make a living. But now they make a sizable income from preserving the forest. Their regular rounds in taking care of the forest has led to a fall in forest fires, and the reservoir has regained its normal water levels. The stable income the villagers get has changed their lives in a positive way. Dạ có sẵn sàng cái đó rất là họ thích tất cả mình nói đi ở đây là thôn nông lai nhá tất cả hầu như là hết luôn toàn xã này là họ thích nhất là bảo vệ rừng tại vì có cái này mới được có gạo ăn đấy có được cơm ăn hàng ngày cuộc sống hơi tốt đẹp hơn sau này con cái mình học hành càng tiến bộ hơn nâng cao hơn Power outages are a thing of the past now The villagers no longer have to deal with rolling blackouts The Vietnamese saw the need to pay fair compensation to the people that ultimately solve their problems by simply servicing the forests We only think that goods in the sh shopping mall have got value. We only think that financial capital has got value. We don't understand that ecosystem services are also valuable and that natural capital is also valuable. So the number one change is the change in mindset. To think of natural capital at, on the same level as financial capital, it's valuable. Yes, it may be public goods and services. Yes, it may not belong to you personally, but it belongs to society. So we need to value it, number one, which is a mindset change. Many academics have researched the public value of a forest. In 1968, Garrett Harding wrote an article for Science magazine called The Tragedy of the Commons. Each pursuing his own best interest in a society believes in the freedom of the commons. But freedom in the commons brings ruin to all. In other words, since there is no one person or group who owns a forest, not using it would be seen as a lost because it's free. But when a problem arises with a common property, no individual takes responsibility, causing everyone to lose. To solve this issue, people need to work together for the greater good. <laughs> To overcome the commoner's dilemma, where something owned by everyone ends up being no one's property, 
a sense of ownership and responsibility needs to settle in our minds. Yet it is human nature to not be motivated without a personal incentive. Sadly, using a moral or ethical argument to change people's behavior is an ineffective approach. That is why financial component has been brought in to address deforestation. To take good care of a common resource that everyone benefits from, an incentive needs to be added to motivate people. That incentive is money. You should change because it is good for your children, etc. Most people don't seem to listen to that. Then you could try the intellectual argument and say that you should do so because otherwise, you know, your children will be sick or etc. That doesn't seem to work either. And so the only solution I can think of is to try to create a situation where the ordinary person has a short-term benefit from choosing what is good for the children. Tung Chang Village in Thailand. Every Saturday, the villagers hike the mountains to carry out a special task. Their mission is planting trees. And they plant the saplings they have brought along for the hike. They also tend to young trees. They have done this volunteer work for the past 12 years at their own discretion. Their tree planting work has produced amazing results. What motivated the villagers to take it upon themselves to plant trees? It is due to a contract that they signed with the government. To address the extensive damage to national forests, the Thai government decided to hand over communal ownership of a forest if the villagers reach certain deforestation targets. This compelled the villagers to quickly reach these targets. And they also benefited from harvesting bee honey and mushrooms from renewed forests. By working hard, they were able to make more money than before. Selling wild vegetables obtained from the forest has doubled their income. They were able to attain their dreams thanks to trees. There's another benefit that the residents receive. They can rent land for free under the government's new policy. Mr. Sandy, who has no land, was able to get a long-term lease for a plot of land in the National Forest, and now grows an orchard there. He grows mangoes and pineapples that have been brought in a nice profit. Of course, he must take care of the forest. If he does not preserve the forest under the terms of his lease, his contract could be voided. This instills a sense of ownership and motivation to care for the forest. The government has gathered for a town hall meeting. They discussed next year's targets as well as rules for jointly protecting the forest. Some people suggest appointing a team of monitors. Others suggest planting 10 trees for every one tree that is cut down. Many suggestions are made. Their common objective is to find ways to protect the forest more effectively. They have even set up their own community guidelines for protecting the forest. ก็ได้ดีด้วยเพราะ 
ป้าหมายของรัฐบาลก็อยากจะให้มีป่าใช่ไหมครับอยากให้มีป่าเยอะๆเพราะฉะนั้นก็เป็นชัยชนะของทั้งสองฝ่ายวินวินทูเกเตอร์นะรัฐบาลก็ชนะประชาชนก็ชนะก็ยิ้มแย้มแจ่มใสแฮปปี้นะฮะแฮปปี้แฮปปี้มีความสุขด้วยกันทั้งหมดครับ Protecting and tending a forest is a task that requires the cooperation of a group of people. More importantly, the locals need to be compelled to volunteer their time instead of being ordered to do it. The Tungcheng villagers are well aware that the efforts they put into protecting the forest will benefit them greatly in the long term. <laughs> Let's look at the Korean character for the forest once again. What do you see when you look at this character? Can you finally see it as a symbol for money? Depending on what tool of measurement you use to ascertain the value of a forest, the value will fluctuate. Some people regard a forest as a place where there are many trees. Then there are people who perceive a forest as a place for rest. Depending on their viewpoint, a forest can mean different things to different people. A forest is spoken in different languages with different connotations, and we may never fully comprehend their meaning in different countries. But it is obvious that when we come to realize the true nature of a forest, the forest will then reveal its unlimited possibilities to us. <laughs>